All right, so here we go again. Entropic just dropped Claude Sonnet 4.5. And honestly, this is the kind of release that makes you stop whatever half-baked side project you were grinding on and just read every word of the announcement twice. I'll be real, I've tried just about every agentic coding tool this year, Claude, GLM, GPT, Codex, Grok, you name it. Most weeks it feels like we're on this endless treadmill of new model, new promise, same old weirdness. But Sonat 4.5, this one actually made me sit up. It's not just about another accuracy bump or a slightly bigger context window. It's the first time I've seen an AI model that actually feels focused, like truly focused, not just throw more tokens at it and hope. Real quick, I'm Daniel. I've been in the iOS trenches for eight years now. Started out freelancing, helping clients ship their ideas, learning the hard way what actually works and what just burns you out. But after Dub Dub 25, I went all in on solo dev, shipped over 10 of my own apps, started building everything in public, and lately, I've been pouring my energy into Crafters Lab, a real home for solo builders. AI-powered devs who treat AI like a teammate, not just a vending machine for code. It's not some generic tutorial site or another Discord lost in the noise. This is where I share every deep dive guide, all my app blueprints, design workflows, now all in one private indie first platform. Every resource is made for solo devs who actually want to build real apps, not just quick AI clones. If you're already part of the Patreon crew, huge thanks. But heads up, everything's moving over to crafterslab.dev. So here's the first thing that jumped out at me. Sonnet 4.5 isn't just a smarter model. It's finally a model that can keep its head down and work on the same gnarly problem for hours. 30 hours, if you believe Anthropic's own numbers. And as someone who's watched plenty of agentic coding sessions go totally off the rails after like two hours, this is a big deal. Before this, every AI agent I tried would start strong make some useful changes, maybe refactor a swift UI view or tidy up a data model. But after a couple turns, total context drift. It'd forget why we started, start rewriting perfectly good code, sometimes even hallucinate entire new flows that I never asked for. If you've ever watched an agent try to help with your code at 2 a.m. and end up rewriting your onboarding flow, you know the pain. But Sonnet 4.5 is doing something different. Instead of trying to tackle the entire code base in one go, it now focuses on a small set of tasks at a time. It's context aware, uh, literally tracking how many tokens it's using, keeping tabs on what's in scope, and more importantly, knowing when to stop before it goes off the deep end. There's no more overzealous, uh, let me refactor your whole app in one go energy. And that means way less undo in your Git history. It means you can trust it to work on one thing, finish it, and then move on. Which for solo devs is pretty much the dream. The fact that it can keep this level of focus for 30 hours, that's wild. That's not just help me write a function, that's sit with me through a weekend crunch, refactor half my Swift UI, fix the build errors, and not lose the thread, that's the leap. But it's not just about the model itself. The real game changer is what Anthropic is shipping alongside Sonnet 4.5. They're dropping a whole set of new SDKs and tools, including a Claude Code SDK and a Claude Agent SDK, so which, if you squint, is their answer to, uh, can I actually use this in my own workflow, not just in some magic web chat? There's a native VS Code extension coming out so you don't have to bounce between three apps just to get agentic help. For people who spend their life in Xcode, like me, I'm still holding out hope. But the fact that they're starting to plug into real developer workflows is huge. But maybe the most interesting bit for us solo devs, they've got this new context editing feature in the Claude API. You can now manage what's actually in memory for the agent, tune how it prioritizes different files or tasks, and uh, this part's wild. 
you can literally tweak the session's context window as you go. For anyone who's ever lost a day to context drift, wait, why is Claude talking about files I deleted two hours ago? This is massive. And get this, checkpoints. You can now set checkpoints in your Claude code sessions. This is hands down one of the most requested features. It means you can save a session midway, try something risky, and jump back if things go off. I wish I'd had this last time I tried a multi-hour Swift UI migration. So instead of just feeling like you're at the mercy of whatever the agent remembers, you actually have control. You can shape the session. You can build agentic workflows that feel as intentional as pairing with a junior dev but the dev never sleeps, doesn't forget your quirks, and can work across days without getting lost. All right, let's get real for a second. Performance. Because, yeah, Anthropic is making some bold claims here. Sonnet 4.5 is, by their own benchmarks, now the best coding model on the market. On the sweep bench, it's hitting 82%, which is way up from Gemini and even Opus 4.1. On the OS world benchmark, the one that actually checks how well the model can use computers like a real dev, Sonnet jumped from 42% accuracy in the last version to over 61%. That's a nearly 50% jump in what's basically real world hands-on coding. For solo devs, this isn't just a leaderboard stat. It means you can actually trust the agent to help with more of the work, especially for those long, multi-step, gnarly tasks that usually force you to put on six hats at once. Whether you're knee-deep in uh, Swift UI, fiddling with Swift data migrations, or just trying to keep your repo from melting down when you ship a big update, Sunet. 4.5 is built to stay sharp. And there's one more thing that matters, especially if you're building apps that like touch anything sensitive, health, finance, even just user data, alignment and safety. Anthropic's been pretty upfront that this is their most aligned model ever. They're not just tuning it for accuracy. They're layering in real safety frameworks, including what they call AI safety levels. So if you're in finance or medicine or just care about not blowing up user data, you're getting a model that's designed to flag risky moves and let you keep going when needed. And the kicker, they're keeping the pricing the same. No new frontier surcharge, no token price jump, no weird usage-based penalty for actually building real apps. If you're already paying for Claude, you just get more. It's the first time in a while it feels like we're getting an upgrade that's actually, you know, for us. So yeah, that's my honest first take on Claude Sonnet 4.5. If you're a solo dev, juggling code, design, testing, and product decisions all by yourself, this feels like a moment, not just a marketing headline, but a dash, but a legit shift in how focused, capable, and trustworthy these AI agents can be. For the first time in a while, I'm actually excited to dive back in and see how far I can push this in my own projects. If you end up trying some Nat 4.5, let me know how it goes for you, especially if you hit some edge cases or if it genuinely helps you move faster. I'll be sharing my own live experiments, failures and all, in the next couple weeks. So subscribe if you want the raw breakdown. And if you're just here to watch the AI coding chaos unfold, you're in good company. All right, until next time, keep building, keep iterating, and let's see what happens when an AI agent can actually stay focused longer than we can. Peace.